one versus one on Famineville approach. Vaza, 1719 versus CC Art. SO3. Sulfurous oxide? Or sulfuric? One of those. I was never any good at chemistry. Looks like rifleman start. No surprise there. Volksgrenadier start. He's going north with his rear echelon troops, and Vasa is heading south with his stern pioneers. And he's probably going to be doing some scouting with the half track. Nope, gonna park it right there. Interesting, he's skipping past his uh, starting point, running straight for the fuel, it looks like. Interesting decision. I always thought that was maybe not the best way to go, considering you do get some fuel uh, from the standard territory points, so it's worthwhile to get those captured as quickly as you can, since you're not going to have anything coming in from this anyway, but it's just my opinion. I suppose you'll have these both capped at roughly the same time. Second Volks Grenadier Squad coming from CC, and a second Rifleman Squad coming from Vasa. Going mostly for the middle slash north, it looks like. Just getting in buildings a lot. Probably a good idea. This is a pretty crit crucial building. Manages to take control. It's going to probably get some good damage against these volts, but they do have green cover. And I believe all five riflemen are able to fire, yes. So that's going to uh, pick away at him a little bit. Meanwhile, we see some more Volks Grenadiers going across the top, and he hasn't got this captured yet. Interesting, interesting capping decisions by uh, CC Art. Are we getting here? Not sure if they're working out for him. Stern Pioneer circling around the bottom. CC spreading himself very thin, and he may not see that much benefit for it. And he's about to lose his fuel. He's going with a Kubel Wagon. Kubel Wagon is a really critical unit. It's their only source of suppression. It's very fragile, though. You have to be, you have to be very careful with it, but it can really help you win these early engagements. No doubt about that. See the rear echelon troops going so far as to cut off the point right outside the base. These riflemen managed to take this point back. The stern pioneers have circled around the back. Meanwhile, this uh, cool wagon's getting flanked by some riflemen, but it pulls back. No source of repairs because the stern pioneers are all the way over here, and they're getting shot up by riflemen. They're out of cover. Riflemen are at medium range. I'm not sure this is a good idea either. It'll be yellow cover versus green. It looks like he's going to charge all the way, but I don't know. Oh man, if those riflemen had just stayed put, they would have won that for sure. Now they're losing. Definitely should have just stayed and fired. I think they would have definitely won that engagement. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Volks Grenadiers coming back down. Rear echelon troops circling around. Sort of in a capping war with these Volks Grenadiers. Cool wagon coming up to support. These guys are probably gonna get suppressed. Meanwhile, we've got a pretty big force moving in from the right, but these Stern Pioneers are doing pretty good damage against those rifles. Storm Pioneers do great damage early game. Really powerful unit if you keep him alive. He better be careful with that Kubel Wagon. He needs to get some repairs on it. Storm Pioneers are busy fighting though. And now they're getting killed. Those two rifles can probably kill everything over here if he's not careful. If he catches them repairing, could spell disaster. He's doing a good job spacing his squads apart too. They get in the building to avoid being suppressed. He opts to just retreat and get out of there. That's probably a good call. I don't think he could have won that. Meanwhile, he's still up here capturing. Looks like he managed to chase off these rear echelon troops. So that's good. U.S. has done a good job of sort of cutting off on the top. Neither player has really held the top at all. It's just sort of a mess of cutoff and 
back and forth. These Hulk Grenadiers should just get out of there. They can't win that. I'm not sure they're gonna get away. He probably should have walked out here and then clicked retreat just to be safe. Fortunately, these riflemen are not interested in chasing. Oh, but they. Good shot. Good shot. Has done a good job of retaking the top. But he just lost that full squad of Volks that's gonna set him back. Meanwhile, he's gone with four squads of riflemen into a lieutenant. And he is now probably going to go for some kind of vehicle. Judging by his fuel, I'd say it's probably the AA half track that he's saving up for. Grenade just went off in this building. They'll probably get away unless these Volks grenadiers get Ooh, good lucky shot right there. Uh oh. Could it could it be? Oh, not quite. Gets away by a hair. Kubel wagon still kicking. Let's we'll suppress these guys. Folks Grenadiers building themselves some cover. Always good to see. Definitely good to make use of that ability whenever you can. Oh, he better pay attention to these guys. They could win this engagement if they charge. Now it's too late. Now they're gonna get damaged. Cooper Wagon's tearing that squad up. It's about to get flanked. Better be careful or you could lose this. He's got to do a lot of multitasking. He's fighting the Sturm Pioneers over here, capping. He's gonna lose this. I don't think he was paying any attention. I don't think he even realizes that this is happening. Oh no. Even if it ran away right now, I don't think it could escape. But he's not even moving it. He's not paying any attention to that. He's too busy with whatever's going on down here, I guess. That's a shame. Senseless, senseless waste of a Google wagon. He's gone with mechanized regiment headquarters. Pretty good decision in 1v1, I find. I don't think that the uh, other starter truck is very good in 1v1. I, I've rarely seen it used to good effect. The reinforced point is pretty much the only, only thing I've ever seen good come out of that. Oh, oh no. Oh, he needs to get those out of there. Oh man, that's... I believe that's his first full squad loss. So that's a that's a, that's a definitely a win for uh, CCR. Got a full squad there. Who's lost one full Volkswagen squad and a Kubelwagen, so he's lost a little bit more. So it's looking like Vass is sort of in the lead, as far as unit preservation goes. As far as map, it looks like CCR is doing a good job retaking the bottom, whereas Vasa is pressuring the top with these rear echelon troops. All right, you dopes, listen up. Lieutenant managed to chase off the Raket Morpher and some Volks Grenadiers. It's moving up this half track for some reason. I thought Vaza was definitely going to go for some sort of light vehicle, but I'm not sure what he's doing. He's got a pretty decent amount of manpower saved up. CCR also has 700 manpower and 90 fuel. He definitely could have gotten a flak half track by now if he wanted to. I'm not sure what uh, I'm not sure what either of them is planning with their resources right now. They need to spend need to spend them. Oh, grenade going out. Oh. But it looks like that Volks Grenadier is going to die. No way he's going to get away. I'll be amazed. Cross the red cover? Okay. Hot damn. That, got him. that did get him. Hot damn. Rifle squad ready for action. So that's another Volks Grenadier squad down. That's really going to hurt. He's down to not very... He decides to make another one. He's down to not much left. Stern Pioneer is going after these rebels and they're running the wrong direction. If they had just stood and fought, they probably would have just killed them. Now they've taken a bunch of damage. Oh, but he's got a bar squad into support. Just retreat. Just get out of there. Good call. Well played there. He doesn't have the uh, the reinforced truck, but he can always... Now that he has vetted Sturm Pios, he can definitely just put down medical supplies. That's always a good idea <clears throat> when you don't go for that truck. 
He's gone straight for a quick uh, Schwerer Panzer headquarters, and he's put it by this victory. Or, yeah, by this victory point. Interesting. He's probably gonna go for some Obersoldaten. Meanwhile, 126 fuel saved up by Vasa over here. He's just getting more and more riflemen. He's investing very heavily in infantry. Which is working because his opponent hasn't in invested in any hard counters infantry. So. It's working for him, but I, only time will tell if that will continue to work for him. If his opponent decides to get a proper hard counter, like a flag half track. Grenade going out. Terrible grenade. He didn't. I don't think he managed to get it over the wall. Did nothing. That's a shame. Must have been aimed slightly off. His riflemen are getting pretty strong. Four squads, got a bazooka and two of them, bars and the other two, his lieutenant. Six kills, two kills, three kills, four kills. All vet one, except for the squad. Meanwhile, CC Art has managed to get vet two on these stern pioneers. He really should consider putting down some medical supplies for those guys. We're getting more for getting chased off again, but no big deal, the enemy has no vehicles. Send your orders. Folks grenadiers. Trying to get some good shots off while the riflemen are running across red cover, but no kills. Meanwhile, just recapturing the top, unopposed. While the American way takes the bottom. So lots of back and forth on the territory of this game. No no clear advantage there, although the Americans done a good job of not losing this fuel. Whereas the Ober Commando has not been holding onto this one very well. So I think the American has definitely gotten a big fuel advantage. But he's not capitalizing on it. He still has 175 fuel right now. He's also not spending his manpower. 780 manpower right there. He really needs to spend his resources so that he can he's got his he's got his opponent at the disadvantage, but he needs to keep him down. And he won't be able to do that if he doesn't spend his resources, especially his higher tech solutions like Oversoldaten start coming out. Oh, and they are just tearing those right apart, even in green cover. Oh, and those guys get suppressed by a flak burst from the headquarters. But he's going to lose this for Kettenwerfer if he doesn't get it out of there. Oh, that's a shame. Especially given that he could be making a vehicle of some kind in any minute, but he just isn't spending his resources. I don't know what he's thinking. It's almost up to 1,000 manpower, 200 fuel now. Here comes another sort of high-tech unit. Panzer II light tank. You better watch out for this bazooka, but the bazooka is poorly positioned. Oh, and he loses a full squad. Not sure where that happened. Over here, probably. Oh, what is he thinking? He can't win this. He needs to get out of there. This Obersold on the tearing him apart. I guess he was lagging. I don't think Relic can fix a bad internet connection now. Wow, what a comeback by the uh, Overcommando. Doing really good now for territory and map and army unit preservation. Most of his stuff came out of that alive. The American lost at least one full squad and bled a lot of manpower. He was floating a lot. Now he's not. He made a major. But I think a lot of that manpower just went into reinforcement. Got a little veterancy out of the fight. CC Art got that one on his oversold on the squad, so that's going to help. That gives them the smoke grenade. I'd be very surprised to see any if he uses that. I almost never see anybody throw this, but it's actually quite good. Smoke screen, and it also uh, does damage over time to imagery that goes through it. And apparently it disables vehicle weapons if they stay within it. I've never seen that. That could be really interesting. But yeah, I very rarely see that ability used. It's really quite expensive. It's just sort of holding the line. <laughs> oh, sandbags aren't going to last long. Decides to just get out of there. He doesn't have... Oh, he does have the medical truck now, though, so he can actually heal up. Ooh, 
looks like we are seeing a Sherman from Vasa. So that should be good. He's also picked Armor Company. CCR picked... Uh, the Command Tank Doctrine. Some more fighting over here. He's put another Raketan Warper in this building. He keeps doing that. I'm not sure if it's the greatest idea. It just seems to keep on getting forced out. But it does absorb a lot of damage. Panzer II fighting on the right. He doesn't have any bazookas over here. Anti-tank rifle grenade does a little damage. But he needs to get the proper solution over here, and that solution is probably going to be this Sherman. More fighting over here. It's sort of a stalemate, though. Units and buildings and cover just shooting at each other from long range. Sherman's hunting down the hands of two. Looks like he's going to find it with its damaged engine. And I'm not sure the Overcommando player is bringing anything up to support. Just some folks grenadiers, they don't have a Panzer Shrek. There's not going to be anything he can do. That is a dead light tank. He gets that completely unpunished. Great use of that Sherman. Oh, he better be careful though. That Panzer yeah, Headquarters is pretty good damage to the rear armor. I'll rotate that a little bit more. No Panzer Shrek cooking there. No Panzer Shrek there. He needs to field some sort of anti tank solution. He's moving his Rakenor for a little close. I want to be careful. He really needs to rotate that Sherman. He's taking damage on the side armor for no reason. He needs to place it forward. Oh, what is it doing? There we go. Much better. Even on the front armor, it's still pretty good damage, though. Man, that thing is beastly. It used to be useless, and now even tanks get torn up. Looks like he's keeping AP rounds on for the sake of fitting the building. And armor piercing rounds are better against buildings. High explosive rounds sometimes don't quite hit or don't quite damage it. I guess the building has armor or something. Sometimes HD rounds will not penetrate the building. We're looking at a pretty high resource float from both sides again. CCR might be trying to save up for some kind of panther. He's quite a distance away from that, though. Several minutes in fuel. You might consider... Oh, he has, in fact, uh, turned on the fuel transfer. So he's got a pretty good amount of fuel coming in, and he must be trying to save up for some sort of tank. But he needs to spend his manpower. I would think, I would think an oversold on the squad would be a good use of some of that manpower. Or maybe some kind of anti-tank, maybe another Raketan Warfer. Ooh, he runs away from those Wolf's Grenadiers. He, I think he could have won that, he had more HP. But, there was another squad coming up, so we have to do get out of there. Quick. Sherman's back up at full health. The crew is now triple vet. So that should make way for the tank itself to start getting vet. Vehicle crews vet up extremely quickly, but the vehicles themselves take quite a while. And uh, the threshold is different per vehicle. If you actually get a, a reasonably high vet Sherman crew out and put them in a utility car, for example, the utility car will have more vet than the Sherman. Because the Sherman requires more XP to vet up than the utility car does. So you can actually get a triple vet utility car just by getting a one or single or double vet Sherman crew into it, which I think is pretty interesting. I'm not sure why you would ever do that. More interestingly, if you get an early utility car and it gets a really high vet because you play with it extremely well, and then you bring in a Sherman, you can swap their crews, and then your Sherman will have a little a little veterancy right off the bat. And that can be good. It'll also mean that your Sherman crew has a bazooka. <laughs> so I like to do that. If I can find a find an opportunity. And that goes for any vehicle crew. Things are sort of quiet. Once again, U.S. capturing the bottom while the Overcommando caps the top. Be careful when you do this. You don't want the Volkswagen Air Squad to hop into your tank while you're not paying any attention. I've had that happen to me, and it's not, not fun. You should just keep just keep your eye on it. Sherman crews actually have grease guns, so they're actually not terribly bad in close range. Not as good as if you upgrade them with Thompsons, but 
They can, for example, kill a pack uh, if it's unsupported. Although the pack can turn and shoot at your uncrewed Sherman if you don't place it correctly. So something to consider. Their short range damage is not terrible. It's not great, but in a pinch it'll do. More capturing along the bottom. The assault engineers are doing great of harassing, just sort of being annoying. You should probably send something to deal with them, but instead he's just grabbing the territory back. Meanwhile, Sherman comes back up into the fight. He puts this Rakettenwerfer in his building. He keeps putting his Rakettenwerfers in buildings and they just take a bunch of damage and don't do anything. Using them a little more aggressively, especially with this camouflage, might be a good idea. Oh! They're getting a little too close. Oh, pinned on the front. Wow, that's amazing. Pinned in one shot. I don't think I've ever seen that before. They were in red cover. And that gun is devastating. If you can get that protected in the right spot. He's capturing four squads at once. Very spread out right now. And here comes the Howitzer Sherman. Yikes. CCR does have enough almost for a panther though. In fact he does have enough for it and I think that would probably be a very wise purchase. Unless he's maybe saving for this command tank. I don't know though, I think I would just go for this panther to try and get it out as quickly as possible. He's not going to be able to win this with one Raket Norper. Or three Raket Norpers in fact is what he has but... They're nowhere to be found, that one gets decrewed. The other two are moving up into the fight. He does have a Panzer Shrek. Still, I think a Panther would be a really good purchase right now. He's just not doing it, though. I'm not sh He must be too busy microwing. I'm not sure what his plan is. Vasa has got some man car flow, but he's at least spending his fuel. Oh, he misses. He has not switched to high explosive rounds. He probably should. He's not up against any armor of any kind. Ooh. Oh, and look at that, the Raketan and the Panzer Shrek actually take it out, he was facing his rear armor. What a shame. That's... what a waste of that Sherman. Well, maybe he's content to use just infantry-based anti-tank solutions. It, uh, seems to be working. Those Howitzer Shermans are tough, though. If he had switched to high explosive rounds, he could have been doing a lot more damage. If he'd been driving a little more carefully, too. There it is, the Panzer... Panther Command Tank on the field. Seems weird to get the command tank first, though. He doesn't have any other vehicles to improve with it. Yeah, maybe a flag half track. Something like that. Better be careful with those. He doesn't want to lose that full squad. Very spread out. But he can afford to spread out a little bit because he's done uh, slightly better at unit preservation throughout this than Vasa. Uh, well, that's not true, actually. They're, they are neck and neck as far as infantry. Three Volks, two Oberstoldaten versus four rifles and a lieutenant. Man, that is very even. Very even for infantry. Slight map advantage currently for the Oberkommando, though. And definitely a technology advantage, too. This Panther doesn't really have anything on the field that can threaten it. Except for one bulldozer Sherman, that really not a proper anti-tank unit. I think the best thing the American can do right now is steal these Rakettenwerfers. They're largely unsupported. If he can just push through a good infantry push, he might be able to steal some of those. That would really help him. Meanwhile, Bulldozer Sherman scaring some units off on the right, taking back some territory. Oh, he's gone with a bazooka. He's getting some decent damage in. He's trying to crush some two bazookas, though. He's doing a pretty good job of bullying those riflemen, though. They can't quite fire. It's getting pushed around. It's a pretty good, pretty good micro, but without something to actually damage the riflemen, it's pointless. It's just taking the damage for no reason. A lot of bazookas on the field coming now. Oh, those over sold out and tore that squad up. Made a try for those Raket and Warfers, but it wasn't it wasn't enough. 
seems a little too focused on the panther. Shoot the bazookas. He's moving up with his bulldozer Sherman. Panther's moving to respond. Panther right on the treads did nothing. Oh, good damage though by the Panther. Meanwhile, infantry moving up against the Obler Sultan. Looks like the American. Oh, look at that burst of damage. Wow. He is gonna lose his lieutenant though. Unbelievable. I can't. Wow. Oh, there goes the Obler. I don't think either team is watching this fight. I think both of them are auto attacking each other. He's too busy with his. Oh, he spotted an ambulance with his panther and took it down. That's... that's a shame. That panther's low, and it missed its shot versus M10. The M10 could win this, but it's... Panzer trick. Oh, and it missed its shot. Both... both teams back off. I don't want to lose their tank. Or tank destroyer. Rather. It's not really a tank. Cat Morpher has decided to aim for this tool shed just in case there's a tank in there. Assault Engineers. Assault Engineers is the only way for the US forces to get a flamethrower. So that's something to keep in mind on one of these maps where houses are so critical. US forces don't have any other great way to get units out of houses. I find their grenades to be quite unreliable, especially in these big houses with lots of space. It's a tiny house and a grenade will be fine. Usually you just have to brute force things out of there by pounding it with bars. He may manage to decrew this. If he does, I would highly suggest him stealing it. But looks like it's maybe gonna get away. It's hard to say. Yeah, it's gone. Oversold out and down here, but four. Getting bulldozer Sherman scares them away from the point. Can't quite fight the enemy tanks until he's got this repaired. He goes for a Panzer II. Interesting. It will benefit from the Panther Command tanks bonuses, but it won't be able to do much against the enemy tanks and tank destroyers. Oh, we're getting over in the building. It's doing some good damage, but that building. Collapses, he's gonna lose that. Okay, not sure. well, that's a shame. But the Panther is coming up to uh, retaliate. That Panzer II is doing great damage against those riflemen. That accuracy bonus is definitely helping. Look at that. Oh. As soon as he. Just gotta get that squad out of there. Not sure it's gonna make it though. Major better be careful too. He's got a micro a lot of things at once. He should probably retreat that major. He loses the tank. I think he also lost that full rifleman squad. Yes, he did. And he loses the major. Yikes, he did not man, he didn't come out on top of any of that engagement. That went terribly for him. Meanwhile, the top is getting recaptured. That Panther is doing a great job bullying the enemy tanks off the field. His tank destroyer. Not making even a dent. Points are down to 300. Bazookas were doing okay before, but his infantry are just getting torn to shreds by this Panzer II. It's already got seven kills. It's actually doing really quite good. So, Panzer II is not a bad unit, especially when supported by a command tank. Whoa! M10 ready for action. That's a good shot by that M10. Oh, it gets a little greedy though. Oh, and it automatically fires at that Panther. If it chases, that could be the end. Oh no, he took a questionable route there. And M10's done. <laughs> that is bad news for the US. With two M10s, he might have stood a chance, but now he's down to one again. He does have a bazooka, but his army is just severely diminished We're losing a capture point. severely Take diminished wow two great shots on the frontal armor although ended up vetting it up which 
is problematic. Enemy tank is cutting us up. With that too, it gets armored skirts, improved weapon tracking. Commandora now increases weapon accuracy, so these panzers will be even more accurate. It's interesting that uh, it actually increases the strength of the aura on the command tank. Whoa, get out of there! Run, little rifleman! Oh, and he dropped the bazooka too. Meanwhile, he's just charging madly into these embedded folks around ears. Not sure how he managed to not notice that happening, considering his entire army is four units. Meanwhile, we have wow! Look at all the stars on this army. That is a lot of veterancy. Thirty-three kills on these oversold out in ten, sixteen, seventeen, thirteen on the Panther, five and ten on the. He is salvaging the tank all the way up here right outside the enemy base. He's getting a little overly aggressive with that. He uses the uses the all the fishing rounds. He's just not managing to break through. He's he's definitely gonna struggle to come back from this. His forces. And there you have it, GG. So, great usage of that command tank for sure. Sixteen kills. More importantly, got rid of the enemy Shermans, and shut down the enemy M10s, and M10 is not a great tank destroyer currently. It can do very little on its own. With two or three of them, you can definitely uh, hunt down some heavier tanks though. So if you are really have a re if you have a huge resource advantage then getting two or three M10s can be the way to go, but if you're kind of stuck behind your opponent, he's doing better for unit preservation, he's doing better on territory, M10 is probably not what you want. You probably want uh, better an AT gun. Bazookas can be good, but he was definitely his infantry were getting destroyed by Obersoldaten and these Panzer II light tanks. Did a good job with these Stern Pioneers too. Kept them alive for the majority of the game. But what it comes down to is unit preservation, and he just lost units one by one. Until it was GG. So that's the game.